Hey guys, Vinny here from VNDC. Today we're going to be doing a comparison video between these G4 knee pads and these Troy Lee D30 knee pads. We're going to be looking at the pros and cons of both of them, as well as which ones work best for your kind of riding. Uh, hope you enjoy, thank you. For a few rides, this one for a little bit longer, but I've done a few rides with the G4, and uh, both of them are great knee pads just to start off with. Let's just get that clue. Both of them are fantastic knee pads. I would suggest buying both of them, um, especially if you do a lot of different kinds of riding. You know, you go on big downhill rides and also, you know, just nice cruising rides, you know, just, you know, kind of XZ rides, trail rides. Um, I would recommend actually having both pairs, but that can be expensive and sometimes you just don't want two pairs of knee pads, so which one to buy? So, yeah, like I said, they're both really good, so first we're gonna go over the pros of the two, and then the con. So we are gonna start with the Troy Lee D30s. Now, D30 is just kind of a general um, company of, no, how do I, ah, how do I, mm, uh, many companies sign technology in their branded pads. So Troy Lee has done that with D30. Um, D30 is just the kind of pad that's in there. It's the kind of padding they use. It's just what they call it. Um, and Troy Lee has decided to use it. So they took their pad and the padding, D30's padding, and made the rest of the um, uh, the rest of the knee pad to their liking. So this specific Troy Lee Speed Knee um, D30 pad um, is amazing it is a really good pad a really good a really good pad this is a really good pad um, for many reasons uh, one of the reasons being that it has on the inside this red which mine is peeling off because I've been using it for so long but this red um, kind of sticky stuff that sticks to your knees to keep it in place it has it on both the top and bottom and it's just it, it works really well actually it doesn't make your knees sweaty or anything or sticky it just kind of holds the knee pad right in place. It also has this little bend right here, um, little insert from the knee pad. That's right where your knee is going to bend, so it allows the pad to kind of have room to bend and stuff. Um, other parts is this kind of more clothy instead of the uh, instead of more of a like loose thin fabric. It's more of a clothy kind of material, but it doesn't it doesn't heat up. You don't get sweaty in it. Um, they actually breathe surprisingly well, considering how thick they look. Um, they are really good because they don't bunch up. That's another plus about these. Um, and they just fit on your knee really nice. They, I have crashed with these. They do, you know, keep your knees from getting scraped up. You know, if you hit a rock hard enough, yeah, you might get a small bruise, but it's much better than being without any pads. Um, so definitely, definitely a lot of pros to this. Um, they are really good pads and so easy to just slip right on. It's just it's just a sleeve. Um, and honestly, if you're a big guy, you could probably wear these for elbow pads. Um, but they do have specially made speed elbow pads. Um, but yeah, super easy, just slip on, super nice. Um, great knee pad. Moving on to these G-Form knee pads. Now G-Form is a brand. They make all sorts of different pads, uh, strap-on pads, elbow pads, knee pads, I think they, they make body suits, so does D30, I forgot to mention that. D30 does make body pads, uh, you can get all kind of D30 pads from different brands, um, whether it's 661, or I think Pac uses D30 as well in some of those, um, so D30 makes all kind of body armor, so it's always there for you. Uh, G4 um, also makes all kinds of body pads. Um, but it's their own brand. They don't they don't typically uh, sign with. Oh my gosh, a freaking plane. Reform does not typically sign with other companies to have other companies make their knee pads. They make their own knee pads. Uh, G Form is also still kind of the brand of the of the pad, but they they make the whole pad. They don't just make the padding. 
Um, and G-Form is, obviously you can tell, it's a very, very different knee pad um, than the Troy Lee D30s. Um, this one has, you can kind of see it's more of an external pad. Um, all the padding is on the outside and it's just very simply stitched to this fabric. And, and a lot of people do say, and it, it is true, having the fabric here, if you land anywhere but the, um, but the padding here, yeah, you might rip the fabric, and if you're falling for long enough, you could get a scrape loose enough that the pad can shift just a little bit, that if that's happening, the pad will probably shift into place for you. Uh, this too does have some rubber stuff up here uh, to keep it from sliding off your knees, so that's nice. They're also very easy, no straps, just slip right on, get going, and then when you climb, just slip them down and turn them to the side, and you can climb without having it, you know, bunching up behind your knee, uh, so that's super nice. Uh, the G-Form padding is amazing. Um, I've crashed with these once, and um, they just, it just, it's a foam that is soft when you press it, but when you hit it, it's, it's solid. Um, so that's amazing. Um, a lot of people do say, hey, don't you, you know, get rocks stuck in between all these little grooves and stuff. You really don't. It's small enough, and the way your knee is bent, it's not going to happen. Uh, you can't get a rock poking in there, because actually what's funny is this space here in between the uh, two big pads, two you know thicker areas, this thinning spot is almost the same thickness as the D30. So it's honestly fine. So you have way more padding with these, which is why I call these the more downhill kind of enduro pad. Um, if you're going fast downhill, uh, some tech sections, this is what you're gonna want because this is gonna hold up the best. Um, and yeah, they're just super comfortable, very breathable. Uh, material back here. Um, definitely, you, sometimes you don't even need to pull them down, you don't even notice them. It is a big pad on the front, but you get used to it, and trust me, you're going to want it for your protection. It's nice not to have any straps with such a big pad, um, so that's super nice. Um, now, we are going to move on to the cons of these two pads. So, so the D30 and the G form. As pads, what are their negatives? So, starting with the D30s, from the Troy Lee. Um, some of the downsides are, yeah, it's not as thick of a pad. I've crashed on it before and I've been fine, but yeah, it's not as thick of a pad. So if you're really gonna do be doing some you know crazy stuff, you are gonna want a thicker pad. Um, other cons, they all they are still they are still hotter than the than the G form, um, but I did say they breathe really well and they do considering the material that they use. Um, not too many cons on these, besides the fact that uh, it's also a small contact area, right? So if you have, if you have big legs and you have big knees, you better hope they make a size big enough because it is still a small contact sp spot. Um, you better land right there. Um, but they saved me before, um, and so you know they work. D G form negatives are definitely the fabric. It's cooling, which is a con, which is a pro. But they do have a tendency to rip if you fall on the fabric. Um, they are bulky. That can be an issue. Um, they feel bulky on your legs and stuff. Um, and you know they are kind of conformed to your knee, whereas the uh, speed knees are just just a pad that goes on top. These ones kind of conform to your knee, which can be bothersome. Although that is probably going to save you a little more in the crash if it's all the way around your knee. Um, otherwise. Not too many cons on these. They're both very, very good knee pads. Um, with all that being said, which one do you buy? So, I personally recommend the G form. They're ugly. Everybody says they're ugly, but, well, actually that's not true because I was gonna say, isn't it ugly to have a big giant scar on your knee? But most mountain bikers would say, actually, no, that's pretty cool to have a big scar on your knee. But what I'm saying is, yeah, they're ugly, but they're going to protect you way more than the D30s are in the event of a big downhill crash. Now, I'm not saying the D30s aren't protective and that you shouldn't get them. They are very, very good knee pads, but they're more on the trail side. You can do downhill on them. I had these D30s before I had the G4, and they worked amazing. I rode all kinds of downhill with them, and you know, they worked fine. I could use them for that. Um, but if you are a serious downhill and you do tend to crash a lot, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, D30 um, is, especially these Troy Lee D30s, 
are more for the kind of trail side nice ride they don't bunch up in the back so you can just do a bunch of pedaling with them they'll always be there for you you don't have to worry about them again g-form downhill enduro that kind of stuff but you can switch them out you can use g-form for easy trail ride. you just got to pull them down when you do a climb because they do bunch up in the back of your knee and d30 I, like i said i've ridden downhill with them and they worked so you make the choice based on what i've told you um, they're both roughly the same price they both come in uh, a bunch of different types of padding as far as you know ones with straps and bigger bulkier ones uh, all different kinds of si uh, sizes as well as you know elbow pads body pads knee pads uh, G form actually has longer versions that go down to your shin which some people might like for those uh, you know pedal bites so you make the choice um, depending on what kind of riding you're doing and how you like your knee pad to be if you're okay with pulling it down everyone's um, but anyway, yeah, so there's the review on those two. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week for probably a bike check. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys.